We finna bring y'all another good dish. Well, this is today's meal. It's gonna be a meatloaf, some mashed potatoes, as you can see, ha ha, and some greens. What kind of greens? It don't matter, greens, greens. No, those collard greens. Uh, they homegrown or just you bone? Just everything that's going in the in the, the meatloaf. You got the salt, the pepper. It's about a teaspoon, half of each one. I like the garlic, salt with the parsley in there. And you got the two eggs for mixing everything up in the end. Just like a half an onion. And this is, uh, what is this? <laughs> Lip the onion soup mix just for a little more taste. And then you got like, what, three loaves, three slices of bread. Three whole loaves, she said. I said three slices. And this is going to be for the topping when I finish on the pizza. I mean, the uh, you got me saying pizza over the meatloaf. How did I got you? The cheese and the tomato sauce. And we're not too big on name brand stuff. Some stuff we will separate, uh, substitute for, but some stuff I can't. But this is like one of those things that, you know, it's all good on. But I'm going to mix this up with all these ingredients here. And I'm going to get back with you when I put it in the pan. I got, got my little loaf pan right here that I'm going to put it in. Silicone. Yep, silicone. Here we go. How big the pizza supposed to be? No serve size. Oh. Let me ask me some damn questions. This is a half cup of water. The worst gloves ever. For mix and stuff like that, I told you that's why I don't like them. They for serving, actually. Yeah, I know, but you know, I ain't want to just get all off in it like that. Just throw it out That's why I like using surgical gloves, that type of stuff. Well, Some people just like just get your hands. I don't be going with all that stuff on my hand. I just got to use my hands and go back and wash. But I got a few pieces that are still like semi froze. So I gotta make sure I mash those out. Okay, I'm finna put this little mixture in my little lightly coated grease silicone pan. Even though it's silicone, I still like to spread a little some extra up in there. Why? Because you're extra. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that how the young folks eat? Like dog food. I like to tuck all my corners in, pack it down firmly, then I go back and shape it up a little bit more, and put it in the oven, 45 minutes to an hour. 
45 minutes to an hour and 375. You don't want to cook it too fast, it won't be done. I put probably like about three, four cups of water in this greens with a whole onion and some salt and pepper. This probably go cook for probably about the same length of time as the meatloaf do. But for some reason, it takes collars a little bit longer to cook. What consistency you look for? I don't even know. For tenderness. Here it is an hour later. You can see that is done. I like to stick my fork, I mean my whatever knife in there to see, you know, to make sure. And my greens over here, a little added bonus. I had some meat in the freezer here. Some ham that was seasoned from Christmas. Put it out in there. There's my water over there. Potatoes. And so you just take this can, coat that with it. Then I'm mixing up a little quesadilla, just a little couple of flakes, and some sharp cheddar. And I found me some sister Schubert rolls. I'm going to throw those in there. And when it's brown, that's it. Or when it melts. I'm going to see me make no mashed potatoes. I already had black pepper, salt, and butter boiling in the water. That was butter too. Yeah, huh. a little butter. than trying to whip or whisk, whichever one. To the end of the horse, see your consistency, huh? No, some people like them. That's what I'm saying, you know. Everybody like them thin, like, like the feet. Kind of thick, like, like in between. And you can see these greens are done because they totally turned another color. But yeah. Those gonna be right there. And with the ham, it's gonna be off the chunk. The end. There's your four. four. It's not the end. That's the end of the cooking. What about the uh, butter? I'm going to put some butter on there. Well, you put your butter on if you want to. You got to be hot with the butter. The full it's my plate. Here.